Streams, introduced with Java 8, allow us to apply bulk operations against collections of data in a SQL-like fashion. We introduced streams, talked about its basic concepts, ways to create streams, and some methods like filter, peak, etc. in my earlier video, Java Streams, getting started. We covered the map and flat map methods in my other video, Java Streams, Map and Flat Map. Please watch those videos for getting a good basic understanding of streams. In this video, we'll talk about a very powerful operator, collect. Collect takes in the collector or a method which specifies the transformation to another structure type, say a list or a set. It is a terminal operation and closes the stream so that no other operation can be applied to the stream after this. It also helps with other cool operations like say within a list of bank accounts finding the sum of all accounts or the account with the maximum or minimum balance. It helps with grouping operations like grouping accounts by type say checking and savings and calculating their totals or further subgrouping on say city. It also helps with partitioning operations say partitioning the bank accounts based on whether they are above or below a certain balance. We'll talk about all these operations and demonstrate these concepts with real world problems. It should be very exciting, so keep watching. Here, I'm running Spring Tool Suite, which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new Java project and call it Collect Demo. Click Finish. Let's create a new class by right clicking and choosing New Class and name it Test Collect. Let's include the main method. Right click and create a new class, call it account, click finish. This class will represent a bank account with fields, ID, account type like checking or savings, account balance, city where the account is located. Let's right click and choose source and select generate constructors using fields. Next, right click, choose source and select generate getters and setters select all and click OK. Finally, let us override the toString method to simply return the account ID. Let's go to the test collect class. First, let us create a stream of accounts using the stream of method and passing in four accounts with IDs 1, 2, 3 and 4 of type checking or savings and in cities New York or Las Vegas. First, let's say we want to find a list of all checking account IDs. Let's hold the list of account IDs in a variable called result. To our stream, we apply the filter and using lambda expression, we say that we want the account of type checking. Then to the resultant stream, we apply the map operation to get the account IDs and then use the collect method. This method expects a collector. Let's import static java.util.stream.collectors.star as it has a lot of built-in useful collector methods. One of them is toList which will collect the result as a list. Import the list. Let's print the result. Right click and run this as a Java application and here we see account IDs 1, 3 and 4 which are of type checking. How about if you want a distinct list of cities? Sets help with collecting distinct values. So let us create a set of strings which will be cities. To the stream, let us apply the map to get the city and to the resultant stream, apply the collect method and use the collector to set. Let's run the application and we see the cities New York and Las Vegas. Next, let's say we want a sum of all checking account balances. So we create a double variable result and to the stream, we apply the filter of account type checking and then using collect, we apply the summing double collector which takes in the field name to sum. So in our case, we call the accounts get balance method. Let's print the result. Run the application and we see the right result 550. Next, let's say we want to find the account with the maximum balance. So to the stream, we apply the collect operator inside which we apply the max by comparator. Next, we need to specify what field to compare to to come up with the maximum. Using comparator.comparing, 
we specify accounts get balance method. This method would return an optional account. Let's print the result. Run the application and we see correctly account ID 3 which has the highest balance. We can find the account with the minimum balance by switching max buy to min buy. Run it and we see account ID 1. Now let's do some more interesting operations. Let's say we want to group the accounts by account types and then sum their balances. Collect can help us do this easily. So we expect a result which is a map of string which is the account type here and the double which will be the sum of the balances. So to the stream we apply the collect operator and then apply grouping by collector which takes the first argument the field you want to group by in our case here account type the second argument is optional. It is also a collector type which helps us specify what we want to do further with the result of the grouping. In this case we want to sum the balances so we use the summing double collector and provide the field account balance returned by accounts get balance method to sum on. Print the result, run it and we see the result. There are two account types savings with a total balance of all savings account as 250 and checking with a total of all account types of type checking as 550. Pretty cool isn't it? We can do further subgrouping say within checking and savings we want to further group by city and have account balances at that level. Very easy with collect. Now instead of the second argument as summing we can nest another grouping by. This time grouping on accounts city and then summing on account balance. So our map will now have a nested map of city a string type and then sum of balances so a double. Let's run it and we see the balances first group by checking or savings and then further within it by the city. Finally let us take a look at the partitioning with collect. We can partition a collection based on a criteria. Say we want to partition the accounts as low value and high value with our value threshold being greater than $125. So now we expect a map with the first parameter as a boolean which based on our accounts high or low criteria will return a true or a false and the second parameter as a list of accounts. Now to the stream we apply the collect method and inside we specify the criteria that e.accountBalance has to be greater than $125. Let's print the result and we see the low balance account as account ID 1 and high balance accounts as the remaining. In this video we saw how powerful the collect operator is and how it makes performing complex operations so easy and expressive. We saw how to transform the stream to a structure like a list or a set and then we saw how we can apply summing operations, grouping and subgrouping operations as well as partitioning operations using the collect operator. Thanks for watching.